Hello, my name is Avin and I am the CRM and marketing automation specialist here at Relevate. And in this video, I'm going to talk about how to tag and organize your contacts. Uh, now you can do this with leads, contacts, accounts or opportunities or all of them. And I've done some statuses that make sense to me. So I've created a custom field type called person type. And if I click in, you can see that this is client lead potential and there is referral partner, network partner, competitor. And the reason why I've done it, uh, this is a, a multi-select field. And the reason why I've done that is because in a multi-select field, you can select more than one and they are a little bit more controlled than using tags. Now, if you know anything about tagging, if I scroll all the way to the top, I can click the button, add tags. Now tags are good. However, anyone can create a new tag. So if contextually I think, all right, well, they're a lead and then someone else jumps in and goes, all right, well, they're a prospect and someone creates a lead tag and someone else creates a prospect tag, there are now two tags. And if I search in reports, I'm not gonna get a clear metric. Or if I filter down, I'm not gonna be able to understand or I might not see or not use them or not be able to filter with what that person was intending uh, to filter them by. So by using multi-select pick list, you actually have a little bit more control on how these are determined. And as you can see by the red bar, I've made that a required field so that I can track every single person, who they are to, our, uh, to us as a business. Now this can, this can adjust, this can change over time. And as you can tell, they can be a lead, they can also be a referral partner, they can also be perhaps a supplier. And all of those things combine to show you how you have multiple relationship styles or types with that customer. So let's dive in on how to create that. I'm gonna to go to the top right and I'm going to click on the settings icon. And then I'm gonna to go to modules and fields. Then I'm gonna scroll down to the record. So if you've got a custom record, it's probably further down. Uh, however, I'm going to contacts. And now I'm going to go into the um, layout type. So I've only got one, yours might say standard. I have renamed mine. Uh, and then in here, we can see we've got the person type field and it is the multi-select field, which is this one here. So I drag that down um, here. If I wanna add some more, I click the three dots, I go to edit properties, and then I've got the option to add fields with that button there. I can also do it in bulk. So if you wanna write it out in Word, just do a brainstorm and then dump it in there. It's very easy to do. And then I've just marked this as required. So now that you know how to put that in, let me show you how to get there another way. So let's go back to the contact. Uh, so let's go, uh, we'll find my contact. They are test in the global search. There we go. Now, once I'm on my contact record, so this is another way to get to that same place to be able to edit that record. So we're just waiting for it to load. Okay, so I'm on the contact record. I'm going to select edit. Then, you will notice that it changes to this style here. And in the top left, there is a highlight hyperlink there, which says edit page layout. I click that button and I arrive at the same place. Uh, so depending on what's more comfortable for you, you might decide either way, um, or it's just whatever you're used to. But this then will allow you to grab that multi-select field, drag it on. And then when you want to filter your records, you go to the uh, search filters and then you can find everybody who has that particular field type being, you know, the client lead or the referral partner or network partner, whatever it happens to be. Okay. So that was how to create a tagging uh, method using the uh, multi-select pick list rather than using the tags, which ultimately gives you the security knowing that you're not gonna have multiple versions of the same tags created by different people as they use your system. That's it.